All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Dear Mom. Today I'm really excited because we are gonna get two of Paul Cafaro's mini pigs. So we are at Tractor Supply. I wanted to come here first because we gotta get shavings, feed, bowls, fans, all this good stuff. And I don't wanna leave the, car, uh, the pigs in the car. So the girls are with us, they're climbing on all this feed. So let's get to it. Okay, Paul told me to get Missouri mini pig feed that says you. So that's what that is. I don't even know how much these things eat. I raised a wild hog. Oh my gosh, you guys probably know it from Deer Meat Fernando, but we raised a wild hog. Her name was Dixie, and she was a really cool pig, but she was obviously huge. So I'm really excited because these guys only get, what, like 40 pounds? They're like small, legit small, full grown small. Hey, I just have a quick question. How much do these things eat? Uh, like two times a day, one big meal in the morning, one big meal at night. Like a cup in the morning, cup at night? Oh, way more than that. Like oh. a full bowl. Full bowl. Okay. All right. I'll I'll call you when we're at the gate. I'm just getting things now at Tractor okay. Supply. Okay. And then I, I gotta open. It. If not, if not, my brother shipped me home. Okay. Okay. So apparently he's either a overfeeding them or b they eat a lot. <laughs> All right. So we got everything we need. Now we have to head over to Paul's house because Joey's waiting on us. So I'm gonna show you guys everything we got at the barn. Okay. We made it. The kids are playing with the piglets. So Paul Cafaro, if you guys don't know Paul, he is another YouTuber and he does all these crazy videos. He does ponds, now he's got chickens and he's got pigs and he's got this new house. So he's got all this land and he's expanding. He's building a barn. But the mama pig just had four babies and right now he doesn't have room for all four. So we're gonna take two, he's gonna keep two. So the ones I'm taking are Daisy and Duke. He named one Baloo, but if you guys wanna see these babies born, check out that video because you can watch it live. Huh? Come on. She's eating. Why? Because that's what they do. They eat all the time. And see, Blue up there, he's the black one. No. Oh, did you hear that? that did that you hear white that? One? The white one. He went. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Aria, come on, let's go find ours. Come on, come on in. So I just got off the phone with Paul. He's headed to Texas, but he said he already took two of the small pigs and put them in a cage because they're super hard to catch. Look, Ann, oh, those are ours. Hi, guys, hi. Oh, they're a little scared. Look it. Hold on, wait, don't let them out because otherwise we're gonna have a hard time catching them. I'm not hurting you, come on. <laughs> that is so loud! Settle, 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 settle. You're okay. Settle. It's okay. I'm sweating and I only caught one. Are you kidding? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, stop, stop. Okay, so this is the little girl, and I just found out if you cover their eyes, they stop freaking out because that is like ear piercing loud. And Paul, I have to use the bin because mine was way too short. So you're gonna find out he's she is gonna get super loud in about a second. I told you. You're fine, girl. You're fine. One down, one to go. Okay, so this is Joey. Is it? Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Nice. Okay, we're using all your stuff, Paul, because these guys are crazy. 
David had to put the camera down because they both jumped out of here and we were like sprinting across the yard trying to catch these things. I don't think they're gonna be able to, but I think we'll be able to squeeze Oh my gosh. Through. I don't know. Oh, yeah, here, wait. Here, am I? Can we just lift this? Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I'm it's waiting for them to bite me while yeah. they do this. No, 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 they won't bite, they won't bite. Uh, I'm legit sweating. David, are you sweating? Yeah. I'm like legit sweating. I had it. Oh! Why did I lay the food on? Hold on. Oh my god, get him out. Don't let him get out. Don't let him get out. Hold on. Oh, get back. Get back, bro. Oh, get in. This is so good. Let's take it home. Take what home? Those piggies. Those piggies? Yeah. Take them home? Yeah. Say pretty, please. Please. With a cherry on top? No. No? No. With what on top? Sprinkles? Okay, let's shut it. Hurry, hurry. We're either A, gonna have a really good trip home or B, gonna have chaos on the way home. <gasps> Joey, thank you very much. That was a mission. That, I, it looked to be very easy when we got there. It was very chaotic. Let's just put it that way. But, now we gotta head to the barn, get them all set up, and hopefully they'll calm down. Okay, so we made it back to the barn. Let's check out what we got. So David actually found this. It's an automatic water, but you use a hose. I have one in each stall for the horses, but they're so high. And I moved one down for Bella, but the lowest he can go is like right here. And so this is my easy way of making art for the pigs. Because pigs root everything. So they'll tip things over and use their nose. And they have a very, very strong nose. So then we got these little feeders that also screw to the wall so that when I'm not here, they're not tipping up their food and um, wasting it all. And we got a fan, a Walmart fan. And we got an outlet right up there. So I'm gonna hook it on the wall because in the barn, it is so hot, it gets so humid. But this will keep them nice and cool. Okay, so like the same concept on the wall. The hose hooks right here, and there's like a float system in there. So when the water gets low, it triggers the hose to start flowing, and it'll keep this water nice and high. So if they constantly root it out, it'll keep filling back up. What I found out with having pigs, is if you just put a bowl there with water, they're gonna tip it over. Now to see if it works without leaking. That actually works really slick. I'm really impressed with that. Except our hose is leaking at the faucet. A little turn knob thingy. So now I gotta fix that. Now, put up the feeders. I gotta hang the fan and I'm sweating. Okay, since I didn't bring my other drill, I have to use this drill and just start a hole with this screw. There. Now at least it gives me something to work with. All right, everybody, I helped Sarah. I helped, Lies. Her. I helped her get this started. As you guys see, the camera was shut off for a while. I was helping her. Okay. Anybody who knows me knows I'm very independent. And if I don't need help, I'm not using the help. So he wanted to help me. But I told him I was going to get it. And now look, David Bell. I'm getting it. All by myself. She just wants to take all the credit she can get. That's right. <laughs> There's a lot of pride when you can do something all by yourself. Hit like if you agree. I mean. No, hey, I actually, I agree with you. But if you always ask for help, how are you gonna ever learn by yourself? Like, if I was by myself here and needed to put a fan up, and I don't have a camera rolling and David Bell's not behind it, what am I gonna do? Not call anybody, figure it out. How do you like those moves, David Bell? You know, an extra hand would be nice, I bet. Uh, no. <laughs> to hold this to fan up, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I no, got I got it! <laughs> they gave me, like, the world's biggest screw. I'm sure it's going to come through the other side. I mean, this fan, if a hurricane blows this barn down, this fan's still going to be attached to this piece of wood. Let me just say that. Like, I mean, you guys, I'm not even, like, look it. Okay, 
Hey, David Bell, what do you think about that? I mean, dang. I didn't think, I really did not think you were gonna be able to get it up by yourself. I know you didn't. But, let me get some nuts. Yeah, boy. David Bell has yet to learn me. Okay, so David literally just asked me, he's like, how come you just don't plug it into here? I just unplug this one and plug that straight to the source. Cause it's, I mean, it's a barn, it's a wood barn. The less um, connections you have, the better. I love you. Hold on, let's go into a slow-mo montage real quick, ready? <laughs> Literally, I had sweat dripping everywhere. Now I do. So, it's time to get the little piggies. Okay, this can be interesting. Oh, look at them. They're like, what are you doing to me? Hi, guys. You're okay. Where are you sleeping? You're gonna go in a new home. You okay with that? So, this is how I kept them in there. They're food. But let me fill up their bowls before they freak out, because they're about to freak out. Okay, so they got water, they got food, they got fan, and this used to be Kia's old den. So, they have toys and a little blanket to lay in. So, they have all this good stuff. But they're about to freak out, probably. Hi, guys. What do you guys think? So we have everything situated. We turned the fan off, but we're gonna turn it back on. It's just too loud. Um, pigs are doing good. They're wagging their tails, which is a good thing. But I'm gonna keep them in the stall for like a couple weeks because they're not familiar with our, the sounds, the smells, us, nothing. So if I just let them free roam, they would literally run off the property within like a minute. So they're gonna hang out in the stall and just get familiar with us. But Rob hasn't even met them yet and he kind of was against this. Um, but they're mini pigs and they're cute and Whatever, I don't know. Hopefully he falls in love with them. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys liked the video. Today's been awesome. I mean, we went to Tractor Supply. We got all the things we needed. We went to Paul's. We didn't film us running around like our chicken with our heads cut off because we didn't even have a cameraman to do that. But we caught the pigs, put them in the car, got here, set everything up, and now they look kind of happy. So, Paul Cafaro, thank you very, very much. Um, come over anytime to check out your pigs. <laughs> so one is Daisy, one is Duke. We're gonna call them Daisy and Duke. And I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, hit the like, check out Instagram, leave me a comment over there since you can't hear, and we go. Hey David, you might have to put the camera down and hold one of these sides. Oh, now you want my helping hand. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs>